Hi everyone, so I pulled these cards. Someone did not want this message getting out because my camera, it, it cut off at like two minutes. I've been having issues with my phone, but it's not usually that bad. Um, I'm using a different phone now so that I can actually get the reading out there. And sorry I've been off lately. I'm, you know, I'm coming back on now. I'm going to do a regular reading for you guys on probably around the 1st, and that should be, you know, my, my usual love reading. This is a very specific message for probably like only maybe 10, 20 people. Um, so please don't take this if it doesn't resonate. Like, you'll don't freak out. Like, you're going to know if this is for you. This is something that you're going to already have intuitively felt. Like, your spirit guides will have been warning you of this. Um, like I said, I pulled the cards and then my camera cut out, so I had to just start off with a new with my other phone. Um, trigger warning too, this is, you know, I am seeing sex magic here, so I am going to get into that. Um, this might be, yeah, it might be triggering for some people, so, you know, use your discernment here. But what I got was, we have pay attention to the signs, and for a few of you, so for the most part, I feel like this is a warning for a lot of you. For some of you, this could actually, just for a few of you, um... I feel like, because there's a lot of sexual energy here, for some of you, I feel like there's, again, trigger warning, sexual trauma. I, I, I hate, you know, I have to say what, how I feel about it, what I, what I feel is coming to me. For some of you, there's sexual trauma, and you're being guided to get back in touch with your body, with your passion, with your creativity, to take your power back. And I know that's easier said than done, but it's like getting in touch with your body again. Um, owning your body, like not letting anyone take that from you. You know what I mean? Like owning your, your beauty, your creativity, just, just healing yourself, just finding yourself again, not letting anyone. It, it's like maybe for some of you, and this is just for a few of you, maybe someone's made you feel disconnected from your body. They've made you feel disconnected from that energy and you're being guided to I know it's hard. I, I can't imagine, you know, what you must be going through or how hard it must be, but it's, it's like you're being guided to take your power back, you know, to get in tune with your, your passion, your creativity again, to not let this person have any more power over you. Um, but again, that's, that's, you know, that's only for a few of you, the majority of you, for those that are in this energy group. And like I said, there's probably only about 20 people or so at most. Like there's a warning that there's a third party that's doing sex magic is what I got because it's like you're being guided to pay attention to the signs and it's like owls represent intuition. So it's like someone's intuition here is like, it's like they're right there, but you're not quite looking at them. It's like your spirit guide's trying to get your attention, but you're, you're looking elsewhere. Like you're not quite seeing it. And it's, it's like, so this could either be, this could be you or your person. For some of you, I feel like this is you where it's like you keep going back to someone, but they're incredibly toxic and you're not really in love with them, but it's like you feel like addicted to them and you don't understand why. It's like you just feel like, like you don't really want them, like you're over them, but it's like you just think about them a lot and just out of nowhere. And it's like they have this kind of control over you and you don't understand it because you're like, well, this person isn't like... And this wouldn't be like a twin flame or soulmate. Like, I'm not talking about a connection where it's like, you you know, you have all these strong feelings for someone and you've just never felt that way before. No, no. What I'm talking about is a connection where you don't have those strong feelings deep down. You know, it, it's not, it's not like it's just unfamiliar. It's like you legitimately think this person is a piece of shit. Like, they're just, they're not your type. They're not someone you would ever go for. They seem like like a bad boy, bad girl type. Like they seem like they could be potentially abusive. They seem toxic. Like they just seem off, but you it's like you feel it's like karmic. It's like you feel addicted to them and you don't understand why. Um, and again, I'm sorry for my normal Sagittarius's. I know that this is probably not going to resonate for most of you. I'm going to get into a more general specific message for the rest of you um, on the first. I'm also going to be doing random third party reads and uh, twin flame soulmate reads as well. So so subscribe and stay tuned for that. But anyway, um, this wouldn't be like an unfamiliar twin flame soulmate connection where it's like you've never felt this way and it feels like true love and you're scared. No, this this isn't that. This is more like this person's toxic. You know they're toxic. 
you know they're abusive, you, you, you have a bad feeling about them, but you keep thinking about them or you keep missing them. For others, this is your person going through this. So if you're like in a third party situation where it feels like you're waiting for your twin flame to come back to you or like your soulmate or, you know, some like higher level soulmate and they keep leaving you for this other man or this other woman and you're like, I don't understand it. Like this person, like why would they keep choosing a karmic over me? Well, it's, it's sex magic is involved here is what I'm feeling. So whether this is someone tied to your energy pulling on you or whether this is someone's your person's tied to take it as it resonates but there's not true love here this is like a very karmic situation is what I'm feeling because it's like someone's spirit guides are trying to get through and say pay attention to the signs and it's like you or your person you know it's like someone starts ascending they start like leveling up like having self-love and then there's this toxic energy here that's like nope like like this, I don't know, like this, this feels like, and I'm a witch. So like, I'm not, I'm not hating on witchcraft. Like there's good witches, bad witches, gray witch. There's, it's, it's like anything else, but this feels like a dark witch to me. This doesn't feel like someone who respects free will. This doesn't feel like someone who has any kind of balance. This feels like the type of person that would just like hex someone because they got in an argument with them. This feels like someone who's off the rails. This actually kind of feels to me like a baby witch is kind of the energy I'm getting actually like it feels like because I'm looking at this I don't know why this feels like witchcraft to me like I don't know if that resonates for anyone but it's like whatever she's holding I don't know why there's something about what she, he or she is holding that just feels relevant to me and like the colors and the fire in the background I don't know what it is but this feels like a baby witch to me like this feels like someone that doesn't really actually know what they're doing it's like they're just throwing this energy out there it's like your person's like moving forward like they're not they're not trying to do this anymore you know what I mean this came out this card came out in the Leo reading too and I was getting similar energy where it's like someone's trying to hold someone back but it's like they're not having it anymore they're not having it with this succubus energy anymore because this isn't love, whether this is someone tied to your energy or your person that just like doesn't want to lose them. It's like, it's not actually like, they're not actually like in love. Like they, and you might be confused because you're like, why does my person keep going back to a karmic that they know is toxic? And it's like, it's because of this sex magic. Or it could be, if it's not sex magic, it could also just be that there's a strong sexual connection. Like maybe, trigger warning, maybe this person right here, male or female, has some kinks. Like maybe they're in like the BDSM community or that's not for everybody, but maybe they're they're into some stuff. You know, maybe they're into some stuff and they feel like you have this kind of innocent energy about you and that you might not be into that. So they're kind of hooked on this person just, and you shouldn't change who you are for this person. You know what I mean? Like you need to be sexually compatible with the person that you're with, but it kind of feels like the energy of like, maybe they're, um, maybe it's like they're sexually addicted to this person because they can act out those sexual fantasies with them. They can, you know, this person lets them degrade them or let them, you know, do whatever they want with them sexually. And... And again, you don't want to change, like, if you're, if you're vanilla, stay vanilla. That's who you are. That's, you know what I mean? Like, be true to yourself. Don't change for this person. You know, if it's meant to be, it will be. But it just feels like, whatever it is, it just feels like with this karmic, like, it's definitely not true love. Like, there's not a strong connection here. It just feels like someone who's either doing sex magic on them or it's just a sexual connection. Like, they, they might even be afraid for some of you, like maybe both of you are coming off vanilla. Maybe this person has kinks and maybe you also have these kinks as well. Like maybe you're both into like, like being submissive and dominant or whatever else. And this person might be afraid that if you see that side of them, that you're going to run for the hills and you're going to think they're a freak. But for some of you, you're already, you're into that stuff too. And you're probably thinking the same thing. You're like, if they know that I'm into this stuff, they're not going to you know, like th that innocent image of me is going to be ruined. I don't want to tell them. So it's like you're both hiding your sexual fantasies from each other for some of you. And please, please, like I said, 
take this as it resonates. Do not try to make it fit because this is not for all of you. This is for a very small group of Sagittarius is on my channel. Okay, so, so please use discernment. If you're unsure, don't confront anybody unless you're 100% certain like you've, you know, gone to other psychics as well. Like, you know, this is your energy group for sure. Like, you know what I mean? Like, just use discernment here. Trust your own intuition above all else. Do not make it fit if it doesn't. But, um... But yeah, I'm just feeling like someone's like connected to a karmic, be it you're your person. Someone here is connected to a karmic because of either like a sexual addiction. Um, and like I said, maybe being afraid that you're like the innocent type and that you wouldn't accept them as they are. Um, I'm hearing the name Rebecca, so that could be relevant for someone too. I'm hearing emerald and red. I don't know what that means. Maybe that's for somebody. Um, but yeah, it just feels like, it just, yeah, it really feels like maybe they just, they, they, they're not sure how you view them if they came out with it for some, there's, there's a few different stories that I'm giving here. Um, but it's really interesting because it's like, they don't, they don't love this karmic. This karmic to me, like I said, she's, he or she seems like a baby witch. She seems like someone who's like off the rails. They just hex people whenever, like they don't know what they're doing. They seem very unexperienced with witchcraft. So I feel like this person might have, I feel like they might be paying someone else to do magic or like maybe they're just now getting into sex magic is kind of the vibe that I'm getting. Like... Because, like, they feel inexperienced to me. Like, this isn't someone who's super spiritual. Like, it's someone who tries to present themselves as spiritual, but it's not someone who's actually genuinely spiritual. This is, like, a succubus type is what I feel. So I feel like maybe they had, like, a mentor or, like, a close friend or someone around them that they paid to, um, to do witchcraft on you. Or maybe they're just getting into sex magic and, like, they don't even know what they're doing. Like, they just kind of... Like, their succubus soul is just kind of leading them through the sex magic, and they don't actually, like, they know it's sex magic, but they're not, like, intentionally, like, not that they're not intentionally doing it, but for some of them, it's like their soul is doing it. It's like they have, like, an evil soul kind of energy is what I'm feeling. Um, it's sad because it's going to come back on this karmic tenfold because this is, this person is not for them. Like, if this is, like, a karmic that's trying to hold your person back, or if it's a karmic trying to hold you back, it's like, there's not love there. You know what I mean? Like this person, like he or she is not interested. Like, look, they're looking elsewhere, you know? Like they're just, they're not interested in, in the succubus karmic, whoever this is, whether this is you or your, your twin flame or soulmate, this, they're just, they're not interested in this succubus karmic that's trying to hold on to them. It's not true love. It's like, it's an illusion. It's... It's a very, like, toxic karmic connection. Like, it's not... Neither one of these people are happy, you know? Like, I feel like... And I feel like if, if your person keeps coming back to this karmic, it's only because of the sexual energy. It's only because of the sex magic. But they're not... They, it's, it's almost like they resent the karmic or, like, they hate the karmic. Like, they don't want... They don't even want this person in their life. Like, they don't have love for them. They don't miss them. They don't... Um, It's like, I feel like they pretend like they love them or care about them because they feel bad for them. It's, it's almost like, okay, so the energy I get is almost like, like this person keeps being drawn back into, to this karmic either, like I said, either because, you know, they can act out their sexual fantasies with them or because the karmic's doing sex magic. But it's almost like they know the karmic is toxic. Like, they know that this person is, like, they know. Like, the, there's no going back. Like, the blindfold's been taken off. Like, you know, illusion's been re revealed. Like, there's, there's no turning back from it. Like, this person already sees right through this person. There, you know what I mean? Like, there's just, there's no more illusion there. They know how toxic this person is. Like, this person could try to present themselves to be, like, a divine feminine or divine masculine or innocent or loving or beautiful or empathetic. Th this person sees through it. Like, there's no, 
this this person can't put up a front anymore. Like the the jig is already up is basically what I'm getting here. There's no more illusion. There's just you know what what's been what's been seen can't be unseen. It's too late for that. It's too late to go back. Um, but what I what I get almost is. It's really weird because I feel like this person doesn't, like, he doesn't even want to, and, and again, you know, take it as it resonates, whether this is you or them, you know, it could be two males, two females, just whatever, don't get caught up on gender, but it's like, he doesn't even want to be with her. It's like, he's not even like, he's not, he's looking elsewhere, like, he's not even interested in her. Um, I really feel like... I feel like he kind of feels like, like he doesn't want to hurt their, her feelings. Like maybe it was, I feel like he knows that she's like a player type too. Like he knows that she's got a lot of different men or women on the side. Like he knows that it's like this guy knows that this person's toxic. Like there's no going back from that. But um, anyway, what I was saying, it, it just feels like it's such a weird energy because it's like there's this concern on his end for her, but it's all it's more just that he is an empathetic, loving person. And I think he's trying not to hurt her feelings. I think he kind of also knows that she's like off the rail and that she doesn't know what she's doing when it comes to witchcraft. Um, I feel like because it's weird. It's like he feels like a sense of obligation to her, but like he doesn't actually want her in his life, if that makes any sense. It's like he, sorry, because I, I primarily channel, so it's like I just get the information, like I feel it, or I get like a vision of it, or I just, it's kind of like a clear just knowing, and then I have to put it into words, because sometimes I just, I channel that from the cards too. So it takes a minute for me to bring it, you know, to ground it here. Um, yeah, because the connection feels like obligation. And it's like, if this person knows what's good for them, they're going to just stop with the sex magic and just go on their own way. Because they're going to end up... I feel like the divine is about to step in and put this person in their place. And they're going to have some really bad karma. Like, this could be losing a house, losing, like, everything. They could actually, like, end up being parted from their own twin flame or their own soulmate. Like, they could have someone coming in that's actually going to make them happy. And they might miss that boat because they're too busy trying to, you know, tie your person down instead. But I feel like there's some spirit guides that this person's pissing, that this succubus soul is pissing off. And if they don't stop, they're, it's not going to go well for them. Let's just say that they're going to, you're going to see evidence of it too. Your spirit guides are going to let you see evidence that this person is getting what they deserve. Like you're going to get, I'm seeing like the justice card. I'm seeing the tower card. I'm seeing the devil card. Like, you're going to see this person get screwed over by life. Like, they're not going to have a good time. There could be health issues even. Like, ugh. Like, even, like, physical, like, like, bad health issues, too. I'm not I'm not talking about, like, a little, like, a, a sprained arm or something. I'm talking about, like, hospitalization. I'm talking about, like, ugh. It's, it's not good energy. Like, the divine is getting pissed and they're about to step in. They don't like this person. Because this person is, like, messing with things that they don't understand, too. It's like they don't... You know what I mean? Like, if you're going to do dark magic, that's one thing. I'm not hating on that. But you need to know what you're doing. And you need to know that there's no options left. This is someone who's trying to keep someone else's twin flame tied down. This is a karmic that's just angry because they lost to this... That they, you know, they lost to this other woman and they're pissed about it and they want control. It's not true love and they, both, both parties know it's not, that there's not true love here. Like, she knows that she could be happier with someone else, but she wants the control and power over this karmic man. Same for him. Like, he's not, he doesn't love her. He has another twin flame somewhere else. He's not, you know what I mean? Like, it's not love. Um, and, and she's not going to be able to block him from his twin flame. She can do whatever kind of magic she wants. She can't block him from his twin flame she can't block him from his twin flame like that's what's meant to be is going to be all she's going to do is fuck herself over and end up maybe you know missing the boat with her own twin flame or her own soulmate um and it's almost like he like resents this karmic too because he keeps being pulled back to her due to this like sexual energy between them whether it's a sex addiction between them 
acting out sexual fantasies or whether it's just her doing sex magic. It's like he keeps being pulled back to her, but he doesn't love her. You know what I mean? Like he might put up a front and like check on her and act like he cares about her, but like deep down, it's like he has these kind of like resentments towards her. And it's like, it's almost like he feels angry because he feels tied to her and he's like, he's like, wait a minute. They might've had a falling out. Like they might've cut each other out and like they came back together or something like that. Like came back into each other's lives. And he like, he, he's not like, he doesn't give a shit. Like he's not happy to see her. It's almost like he just feels like compelled to message her, compelled to check on her because of this, this, you know, black magic that's going on. Um, and so it's like, yeah, it's like the energy of like sh the karmic might think that he cares, but it's like, sh you know, he's being kind of like, it's just because of the magic. There's no actual love between them. And it's really sad for her too. You know, like I can feel bad for the karmic too, because it's like, she's going to miss her own boat and she's going to have a lot of bad karma come in because she's trying to block someone else from their actual destiny. And in turn, she's going to end up blocking herself from her own destiny as well. Um, she's going to regret it. Like, honestly, this, this karmic is going to regret holding on to this person because it's, it's not going to be worth it to them, to her, because this karmic doesn't even truly love this person either. And so in the end, she's going to be like, damn, like that wasn't, this person wasn't, because this person's going to leave her anyway, no matter what it's destiny. And then she's going to be left completely alone because of all the bad karma that's going to come back on her. And she's going to be like, damn, like I shouldn't have held on to that. I should have let that go. I should have cleared this energy and, gotten on that boat when it came in with my own twin flame or my own soulmate you know what I mean like this is a very karmic connection um that needs to be cleared up and it's going to be cleared up either way like the divine is stepping in there's nothing that that can be done to stop this um this is this is getting out you know but um but yeah, if you keep feeling this energy where you're like, wow, like my person told me like he wasn't attracted to her even or he wasn't or he's you know it's not even his type at all. Like it's not, you know, it's someone that's super like a, like a player or like someone that's like just really fake, really shallow. You're like, this person like, isn't, you're like, why does he keep going back to this person? There's your answer. It's, it's, there's black magic being done here that needs to be cleared. Um, is what I'm getting, you know? Cause like, you don't just randomly, and he doesn't even love her. That's the thing. Even like with all like the love spell she's probably doing, like he still doesn't love her. He still doesn't like, he still has no interest in being with this person. You know what I mean? Like there's probably this tension and like anger and sense of resentment when these two talk. Um, but yeah, this energy is being cleared. All this energy is being cleared out though. I feel Yeah, because this karmic is like, it feels like they just got into witchcraft recently. Like, it feels like a baby witch. Like, it doesn't, it doesn't feel like, it feels like someone who pretends to be the divine feminine. Like, she pretends to have psychic abilities or she pretends to um, be powerful or she pretends. It, it's more like she's like a succubus and she has multiple men that are attached to her energy that she feeds off of and she gets her power from them. But she's not powerful on her own. And that's also a her problem, you know what I mean? Like, she could learn to be, like, she could, if she stopped with the bullshit and she, you know, ended these karmic cycles and she tried to balance out the karma and actually do right by people and she let go of this person that doesn't actually want her, um, she could move on and actually have a happy life if she balanced the karma out. But, you know, a lot of these karmics are so prideful and stubborn that they, you know, they don't even care if it's not love. They just you know, they don't want to see other people happy. Cause I feel like she knows that there's someone else that he loves, that he truly loves and it's not her. So, so yeah, take that as it resonates. But, um, and this could be, be a warning. Some of you could be the Sagittarius's that are doing the sex magic and you know that this is a toxic situation and it's, it's not hating on you. It's just saying, Hey, like why hold on to someone that doesn't love you when you could be with someone who's like all about you. You know what I mean? Like when you can be with someone who's compatible with you, who's your person, it's like you can have that if you clear this energy up. Cause it's like, I feel, I almost feel bad for this karmic because they really do have like, I see that like, I'm getting like a visual of like a boat coming in. Like they have their boat coming in and 
they're so busy trying to hold on to this energy, you know, trying to cling to this person that doesn't even really want them. They're looking elsewhere and nothing's going to change that. But it's like they're so busy trying to cling to that, this person, they're going to miss that boat. And if they miss that boat, this person's moving on without them anyway. This person's going to get left behind in the dust no matter what. But, you know, then they're going to be alone. They're going to be, I see like someone just stranded on this dock in the middle of the ocean, you know. Could be someone that lives near water too because I am I keep getting the ocean for some reason. Like the ocean is nearby or there's like a lake or something. I don't know. But, um... But yeah, it's like this this person's moving on either way. This person is seeing through the illusion. There's there's no turning back. Um, and it's sad too because the karma can learn to be a powerful witch. Like this this, if you abuse witchcraft like that, if you just hex anybody, anyone that just you get in an argument with, you just throw sex magic out at multiple people just because you want the control, like. And this karmic, I feel like it, they're not just doing sex magic on your person. They have like a few people that they do it on at least.